The first step is to download the software from the Oracle website. And I will go ahead and go to the Oracle website, which you this here, oracle.com, and go to the download section, middleware. Then uh, once the middleware section comes up, you click on Oracle Business Intelligence Suite EE. Then we'll go to the Oracle Business Intelligence 11G. And then you accept the license agreement. And then you go to all supported platforms. And then you accept the license agreement again. And then you go to the section which represents the type of computer you have. In this case, I'm working with a 64-bit computer. This is the section that I want. Then you will download each of these five files onto your computer. Once the download has been successfully done, you will extract them to a folder on your C drive, which you can label OBIEE. -E. So you extract them one by one. And at the point of extraction, it will give you warning signs if you want to override the existing folder. You will accept those warning signs that continue. Now, upon su successful download and destruction of those files, you will have one folder that says BI Ship Home. Or open it. All the five different folders would have been extracted in these disks as listed here. We want to go to disk one only, open that, then locate setup, right click on it, and run as administrator. So give it a few seconds to bring up the installation window. As the installer begins to load, we'll have the welcome page once the installer has finished, it, finished loading. Then at this point, you do not have to do anything. You just click next. Then we want to skip support updates. The same and similar step that we did on the installation of the database. Skip software updates. Then you will click next. Then you want simple install. Since we're installing this software on your desktop or laptop. Then next. Then it's checked all prerequisites. The software certification for Windows 10 machine fails because so Oracle has not yet certified um, Windows 10, but it will, st will still continue because we've tested this multiple times that it works. So you click continue. And then you want to create a middleware folder at the root of your computer, which is the C drive. And we'll go ahead and do that before we browse to it. This is where the installation files will be saved. We'll come to the C drive. Create a new folder. We'll call it middleware. And this folder should be empty. Okay. Then we'll go back to our installation. Browse. Now we're browsing to the root directory and locating the new folder that we've created click open we brought here then click next then weblogic is uh, a user that's defaultly selected for you don't change the name just leave it as is and then we type the password for weblogic which will be admin 123 we paste admin 123 and then click next then we want to install all these different uh, components of business intelligence. And we'll go ahead and click next. And once the Windows firewall has blocked some features of this application, warning comes up, you just allow access. And then you allow access again. On the next screen, you will have to enter a connect string and the connect string to Connect to the Oracle database is uh, localhost, then the port number, then you colony, co port number, then colony, or RCL, which is uh, the Oracle database name. Then if you recall, when we created the repository creation utility, we created two uh, schema owners. There was dev MDS and dev BI platform. This is where 
those two users become relevant we'll type in dev bi platform as will be noticed here from the name dev bi platform and then we'll give dev bi platform the same password admin 123 and we we'll click next and uh, the schema name has changed here we've gone now to dev mds and it has retained our password admin 123 and we'll go ahead and click next then you uncheck this box click next you have not provided an email address yes we do not want to provide an email address you just click yes and this is a summary of all the different components which will be installed WebLogic console oracle enterprise manager business intelligence enterprise edition business intelligence publisher real-time decisions and then the installer details will show you the path on which these uh, different components will be stored so we want to go ahead and click install so, so this part takes a little bit of time up to probably 45 minutes to an hour so we will wait for a few minutes and then i will show you the next steps after the installation is complete installation is completed and we are just waiting for the configuration tools to be cleared every one of them should have a green check mark 101 minutes 40 seconds and uh, that's when the post installation scripts finished so it took approximately an hour and uh, 40 minutes to install obiee -E. that is excluding the time that it took to install the different components so at this point we we'll go ahead and click next then this installation details kind of lists where the software has been installed and when you scroll down these are the configured components so <clears throat> once once uh, the installation finishes your default browser will automatically come up and show the uh, business intelligence page and what you can do is for your future reference you can copy all all these details or you can write them down then once you write them down you then can create bookmarks such as this you will notice this says uh, sum 7001 analytics which is um, this item here then you create another bookmark for this another bookmark for the enterprise manager and for the administration console which are all these different four components that you see here then at this point we just go ahead and click finish okay so we have to test our installation and make sure that everything works correctly so to log in for the first time you will use weblogic and the password for weblogic is admin123 i usually want to save my password so that i don't have to retype it over and over next time i attempt to log in and that is uh, the business analytics home so this confirms that the installation was successful the enterprise manager page comes up we we'll use the same user web logic and uh, login login is successful accessibility preferences you want to keep the check mark as is and just click continue all the servers are up and running this uh, is good every time you see anything in red down here it means that uh, some of your servers are down next we want to test the administration console so you click on the bookmark and then we use the same user and the password that has been stored and you log in. The login was successful for the administration console and this is the home page. This concludes the login to the administration console. The next step is to log in to Business Intelligence Publisher. So we'll give it a few seconds to come up and we'll log in. This is the login and homepage of Business Intelligence Publisher.